My name's Martin Luther, I'm an amateur radio operator, VK7GN, and I collect QSL cards. And in the early days, people would send a card to each other because it was very uncertain whether they'd actually made the radio contact or not. QSL stands for, I acknowledge receipt. QSL card looks like a postcard, and it has a certain amount of information on it, which covers the date, the time, um, who you contacted, and what kind of signal report they had. So it's all to do with amateur radio. This is my QSL card. The front of it is a uh, picture caricature of me done by a local artist, which I'm rather fond of. I really got into it when I was um, a young, young lad, 13 years of age, and built a crystal set. And it developed from there into a full-on hobby. It's probably a fairly big collection, certainly in Australia, <laughs> and probably by world standards. Back in the 60s, I was able to talk to people behind the Iron Curtain, to Russians and Czechs and so on. If you look at the the cards then that they sent out, they tended to be on fairly scruffy paper with a, a kind of uh, rubber stamp print on the front of it. There's one here from uh, uh, the investiture of the Prince of Wales in Carnarvon Castle. And that was in uh, 1969. And at that time I was at university in North Wales and the very young looking person on the side there is me. One of the types of cards I really like are the cartoon cards. Uh, I'm guessing this guy is probably an undertaker. Um, I suspect our friend in Switzerland here rather likes the wine. And this Finnish gentleman, I suspect, is having a lot of trouble with his radio. One of the things that I enjoy doing is radio contests. Each of them goes for 12 or 48 hours. Siki contest, VK7. Golf November Siki Contest. In a weekend, you would work between 24 hour contests, somewhere between 1 and 2,000, and in a 48 hour contest, somewhere between 2 and 5,000 contacts like that in the weekend. Quite a lot of those are going to QSL, so you will end up with a lot of QSL cards. Amateur radio is a compulsive hobby, and if you get involved in it, yes, you're going to keep on doing it for a long time. It's experimental, it's social. I can go to countries overseas, knock on a door and be made very welcome because they know that we have a common interest. There's ZL2GRZ, VK7GN. Bye-bye, Gina. Okay, catch you later, ZL2GRZ.